your boy SB3, baby. All right, so today we are gonna talk about your boy Josh Laurent. Uh, he don't want him burnt up the red. Eye. Well, he didn't burn up the red eye, but he let a uh, transport company because he was apparently sending the whip to Los Angeles to get some work done. Because I guess he got enough. Well, let me tell you, bro. When it comes to transporting your vehicle, you have to do a lot of research. Okay, and I mean a lot of research when it comes to somebody transporting your vehicle hundreds and hundreds of miles. Now, his video where he was putting his whip on the transport truck, he specifically said that the first transport company he went with, it cost a little bit of bread and was gonna take some time. So he ended up not going with them, and ended up going with a cheaper company. Already, that was the first red flag. I'm like, bro, this ain't gonna end well. Then next, he talking about, <laughs> they put Big Red Eye, cause that's what he called his whip, Big Red Eye, on the top of the trailer. All right, so you gave your car to a, a company that cost a little less than the first one, right? They done put your whip on the top of the trailer. Things looking on the up and up, right? Then, he proceeds to say, when you get to the airport, you got one backpack. It's the good thing about getting your vehicle transported. You can put all your big luggage in the car in a sense of getting transported to the same place. So you got to, for him, probably a $120,000, $130,000 width in this trailer, getting transported to Los Angeles. I don't know how many different outfits. He said he had a lot of drip in there. So, guesstimating maybe a thousand in clothes. I don't know if he had merch in there too, but he got a solid $120,000, $130,000, give or take on that trailer. So, he gets to Los Angeles. And if y'all didn't see the video yet, man, check him out. I'm gonna put his name in the video or in the description for so y'all to check him out. Cause low key, he is, in my opinion, our biggest YouTuber in Michigan. And I'm in Michigan too. So probably some of his subscribers, for sure my subscribers will see this video, but some of his subscribers might see this video too. So long story short, he gets to Los Angeles, he in the hotel, Next morning, he get an email that his vehicle was in an accident or was in some sort of accident. And from there, things went down here. Way down here. His whip got burnt up, probably in Las Vegas. Cause it looked like, at least from the picture that he had, that the area was a desert area, so. And we all know how hot Las Vegas gets. The desert. And sorry for the noise in the background. I'm washing the whip. I'll let y'all see. We washing Tatiana up. Cause I had to drive up a dirt road yesterday. So like, it's mud everywhere. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, man. Spider Venom 33. You know you want to. Anyway, back to the story. So yo. They sent him an email about his car being in an accident or whatnot, but they didn't tell him exactly like what happened. So he calling his company that he didn't do a lot of research on, granted. How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> it is that indeed. So he did no research on this company. They tell him, his car is in some type of accident. 
He's trying to contact them to find out what's going on, and they're not answering. And then if they do answer him, they're not telling them what's going down. They're just giving them generalities. Oh, I don't know why you got the email. Things in our system isn't seeing us as a problem. We'll look into it. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff that companies normally tell you when they messed up. Oh, boy. So, I think it took about, from what he said, maybe like a day, day and a half before they actually sent him the picture of his vehicle all burnt up. And it looked like a couple of other cars were out of the trailer parked next to his. And it looked like his and all the ones on the top got most of the damage. Like his is burnt up. I'm talking about like burnt up. Like his whole car is black, the bumpers burnt off. I don't know why the window was down, but it looked like the entire inside has smoke damage and burnt up too. So, for most of y'all, well, I, know, I don't know if the people following me are younger, but I know the people following him mostly are younger. Just whenever you're about to get something done to your vehicle, do your research. Like, for real. It don't take that much time. Do your research. Make sure whoever you're giving your vehicle to or whoever working on your vehicle, that they actually have like good reviews. Cause I've been burnt several times by not doing this. And I mean, let's be honest. Most of these companies, most of these people, they don't care about your whip. And I care severely about my whip. I've done mostly everything I can to get this car. This is my dream car as a child. So if I put this joint, as a matter of fact, I did get my vehicle transported. And I had to do hella research before I sent my car home. Hella research. And there were some companies that would have transported it for 1300. There were some companies that would have transported it for $700. But the ones that were more reputable, I probably said that completely wrong. But the companies who seemed like they would actually take care of my vehicle and I spoke to them several times, and I mean, they were on my head about transporting my vehicle. They were the ones who I felt would take the most care of my vehicle. And they ended up taking the best care of my vehicle. So, I mean, it is a tragic situation for Josh. But, I mean, Josh got the band, so it's not that bad. It is messed up that his clothes got burnt up. Cause, I mean, who knows? <coughs> who knows how difficult it is to get some of the outfits that he may have had in the car. But dog gonna be straight, though. I don't know what he gonna get next. But please, everybody, Whenever you about to get something done to your car, do your research. And I'm surprised his mama didn't know better because his mama been helping him out with a lot of this. So I'm pretty sure she had to have some type of like situation in her lifetime where she gave her car or even in business, she had somebody do something and she wasn't really sure whether they were the right person for the job unless she did research and then they messed it up. So, I mean, it's not really their fault that this happened, but they could have kind of avoided it if they did some more research. But like I said, I have met Dog a couple times. So when I see him again, I'm going to ask him exactly like why they didn't go with a better company because i mean i see them a lot all right i see him at car meets i see him at the gas station because he lives nearby where i am so like he does pretty good as far as our area as far as getting away from problems not being in the bad being not being in bad places at the wrong time because where we live at bro cats is easy to try to steal Yo, more parts. Easy. So it's kind of unfortunate that he didn't get his scat pack stolen. He didn't get his red eye stolen, but not a red eye burnt up. 
That's crazy, bro. So, for future references, Josh, you might see this too. Bro, do the research, please. Just do your research. That's all you gotta do. You do your research, you'll be straight. And I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes you do your research and it'll still burn up or get lost or get stolen. But at least the chances of it happening are lower. So that's it for now, man. Hopefully, he gets something else solid. I mean, I know he will, because he got to for the channel. Hopefully, though, he get that Lambo. Because, I mean, you already got the red eye, bro. I mean, from here, what else can you get? Mopar. The ghoul? Like, come on, bro. We don't even know when that's going to come out for sure. Like, get the Lammy. Get him a clearing. Stop playing. And then after you get that... Get some bull crap to ride around with.